everywhere. I've been to Schenectady. He's been to his biggest Schenectady. I haven't. In fact, I'm going tomorrow. I've been in McCann. I'm going tomorrow. Where? Albany. I'm going to the eight or nine. That's right now. Schenectady. Tomorrow. I was canceled in Schenectady. Where are you two? Are we rolling? Yes. I'm just curious. Where are you two from originally? Back east? I'm from back east. George is from New York. You're from New York? Born in New York. That's where you get all your chutzpah. Yeah. I get all my hosts by sitting next to him. This man <laughs> has so much charm, personality, knowledge about the business. I rub up against him, and good things just Hutzpah. come out on, on stage when I perform. <laughs> Elijah Lott. <laughs> Let's get a, um, a three shot where they're just nodding, so okay. I'll talk for so a minute. You listen to her so for about just to get a shot of okay. my back, okay. um, you have I'm going to do back, the talking. Right Thank you. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to try That's why he's to do the there. talking. <laughs> he reminds me a lot of myself. <laughs> That's a funny thing, though. Yes. Um, but you can't talk for a minute, so okay. I'll just have to talk as much as I can. I'll try to speak up as much as I can. It's a okay. little. The louder I go, I the squeakier I get. I can hear you. <laughs> Good. Yeah. The squeakier pitch. Okay. okay? Ready? Let's Got the shot? She's like a beautiful version of Lloyd's wife. Remember Lloyd's wife? Lloyd's yeah. wife. Lloyd's wife. Lloyd's of life. Yes. Come right on the okay. set. Everybody stay right where you are. You look great. Okay. Did we already Where get we the going? three? Okay, we're rolling, rocking we're rolling. and rolling. Nashville. Rocking. <coughs> now you two have done an album together. This is the first you have never done an album. The I've never done a duet you. with anyone. George has never done a duet with anyone. That's uh, right. On records. This is our first duet. I, do we look nervous? Well, well George is kind of nervous. Oh, I'm uh, a nervous wreck. Right. Uh, <laughs> But it's it's a lot of fun. It's unique. It's different, as you all know. It's not every day that an album is going to come along uh, of this nature. Uh, the Our new single is entitled, I Know What It Is To Be Young, But You Don't Know What It Is To Be Old. It is an older singer singing to a younger singer. And uh, George, I must tell you, was, was not our first choice for the thing. We wanted who? Moses. Moses. First. <laughs> but Moses was busy that week. So it took me. Yes. And I'm, I'm kind of glad it worked out because George has a lot more charm and personality than Moses ever would have. So. <laughs> Actually, That's he didn't big. want me. He, he wanted Adam and Eve. No. <laughs> <laughs> you're Eve. You're Eve. I'm free. Yeah. Uh, Eve. Are you, are you married? No, I'm not married. Would you like to be? <laughs> Eventually, yes. Would you like to break it up? It's always a good me? idea. <laughs> Let's dance first. So as you can tell, we had a lot of fun in making this album. I mean, it, it was it was laughs and jokes through the whole thing, but the music is very serious. George has a sensitivity when he sings a ballad. I think he is a better singer today than he ever was, and, and really, he 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 has magic in the in these songs. Uh, I buy this. I mean, I would buy this album. I listen to it myself in my car as is, is an enjoyment. It's and a it's, good album. I'm, I'm going to buy one. He's even going to buy one. <laughs> yeah. don't, doesn't the record company give you one free? <laughs> yeah, but you, you appreciate it better if you yeah. buy it. I guess so. Somehow it's worth more. Tell me a little bit about the feelings that go on in this song. There's, there's a really nice emotional quality well, it, to the, the song. Well, song, the title tells you the story. I know what it is to be young, but you don't know what it is to be old. It's a very, very, very good song. Sorry. We have to, let's ask that, we ask that sit back and Oh, okay, I've got a hand. <laughs> Okay. What's that? This is my Italian hand. It flies oh. a lot. <laughs> okay, I'm going to ask that same question one more time. Give me the emotional content of this song. You do it. Well, you have to have an older man doing the, uh, the song because someone who has lived, someone who has had life experiences, who can, you know, and, and that certainly is George. And... Uh, it, it, it's a song that I think applies to everyone because I know I'm always looking for the answer and every time I meet an older gentleman I, I try to pick his mind and say what is the secret to, to life? What are, what are we all searching for? What is happiness? Uh, what does it take to, to live to be 96 years old and, and to be happy? And, uh, and The answer is fall in love with what you do for a living. I'm sure he loves what he does for a living. And Eve, I'm sure you do too, don't you? And I do too. It's nice to be my age and get out of bed and have something to do. There's nothing I can do in bed. So here's the cliche Since question. Last year. <laughs> Since last year. I can only make money when I get out of bed. <laughs> Whereas in your youth. Yeah. In my youth, I didn't make money. I was never a great lover. I was married to Gracie about 20 years. Off the stage, I used to make Gracie laugh. I was married to Gracie 27, 28 years, and she woke me up in the middle of the night. She says, George, I can't sleep. Make me laugh. So, so I made love to her, and she laughed. 
<laughs> if she were here, I think she would tell us a different story. <laughs> well. You have some children to prove it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I told you I lie a lot. <laughs> Speaking of children, this song talks about the experience that you gain in your age. Do you give advice? Do you talk a lot to your grandchildren, your great-grandchildren? No, they have to. They have to work out their own lives. You know, like I did mine. You know, I. Uh, if they come to me, there's a problem. I try to help them. But I've been very fortunate. I've got wonderful grandchildren. They don't. You know, if you were my granddad, I would. I would come to you for advice. I would say, look, you know, I'm having this problem, or I, I want a new way to look at things. They, they, they never do that. They well, never come to and ask you they questions. They come to me if I can answer that problem. Yeah. I do. If I can't, I get help from moving fine. <laughs> you know, another thing I think I should uh, emphasize here: George smokes a lot of cigars, but he doesn't smoke cigarettes. I just figured if we have some young, younger folks out there saying, right. hey, let's all go out and smoke tomorrow. I don't, because he I don't inhale. He doesn't inhale, and he's never smoked a cigarette. I this never, is just I never something that he holds on to. Uh, it's, uh, it, helps, it helps my, on the stage, I'd say, you know, I tell, I say something. When the people laugh, I smoke. When they stop laughing, I talk. So the cigarette, uh, the cigar works for me. Yeah. Is that why you first picked up the cigar? Oh, yeah. As a tool on the stage? Yeah, that's right. Even with Gracie, when I worked with Gracie. I smoked the cigar, but I made sure that the smoke didn't go into Gracie's face. I used to see which way the wind was blowing. Oh. If it blowed to the left, I'd stand on the right side, you know, vice versa. That's nice. So <coughs> you're a little bit like uh, Bill Clinton. You don't inhale. No. <laughs> Clinton doesn't inhale either. <laughs> Tell me about some of the other songs on the album. You have a song to Gracie, and you do so. Well, there's, there's one song that I wrote. It's called I Believe I'm In Love With You. It's a big band sound. Uh, I started off as a big band leader years ago. I used to back up all the singers of the 60s and uh, studied everybody's act. I, I even backed up Sammy Davis Jr. thought he was the greatest performer and I wanted to be like that. In fact, I patterned my show a lot after Sammy by playing the instruments and dancing and telling jokes and all that. Uh, so I hope that if, this, if the album is a success, there will probably be, my next album will be a big band album. Maybe it's time. And this whole song, I, we got our idea actually from the uh, Natalie Cole, Nat King Cole right, uh, record right. of Unforgettable. It was the biggest record of last year, and it was That's two right. people singing together, and two people uh, from different times yet coming together and, and being contemporary. And uh, there certainly was a big acceptance to that record, and it, this is very similar to it. So <clears throat> when you thought of doing a duet and you had this song about being older, was George really the first person first to choice. your mind? First choice. Actually, when I first played it for uh, uh, Mike Curb, Mike Curb, as you know, has, has mainly a country label, and I have a country album out, and I've been on Nashville now many times. Uh, but when, when, we, when I played the song for Mike, I says, what do you think? I, you know, he says, well, you can't sing this by yourself because you're not old enough. Mm -hmm. You need somebody older to sing a duet with you. He, I, he says, you need a George <laughs> Burns. Now, this is Mike Curb. I says, Mike, you are a genius. I says, what an idea, George Burns and myself. Uh, so it really came from Mike Curb. I have to give him credit for that. That was his idea, and and it worked out good. Now we're buddies. We hang out together, and, and uh, I've, I, I've never met Mike Curb. And he's and he doesn't want to meet him. Either. <laughs> I've got to send him some <laughs> Had you two ever met prior to this album? Yes, we we knew each other through Irving Fine. Irving is his yeah. uh, longtime friend and manager, and uh, uh, we have met many times at Mateo's, a, a restaurant here. That's right. And they he always sits with the best looking close. girls, and I, <laughs> that's why I wanted to sit next to George. Not true. <laughs> George, you have a reputation as a somewhat a, of a ladies' man, a sex symbol, we could even say, huh? Do I you think you're a I sex told symbol? I I lie a lot. <laughs> yeah, I lie. No, no, I go out, but that. If I'm here up, I'm in trouble. <laughs> if I'm here down, I mean I'm in trouble. He's safe. <laughs> if I'm here up, I'm fine. <laughs> now, one of the songs that you sing is to Gracie, isn't it, on this album? It's a very, very <coughs> good song. It's, uh, I'll just give you some of the words. I loved her laughter. I loved her smile. No one was quite like her. I loved her style. Gracie, thanks for the dreams that you gave me. When I was in trouble, she saved me. She made me the man. That's all I'm going to say. Yeah. Oh, that's but wonderful. I want you to buy the, and he buy the really album. sings it great. That's wonderful. Do you do you still think of her often? I visit Gracie every month. I talk to Gracie. I I uh, 
sometimes I even tell her a joke. She doesn't laugh anymore. She she hide all my stuff. <laughs> and um, in fact, I sang Gracie the song. She liked it. Oh, that's nice. Do you sing in love songs on the album? Yes. <clears throat> You've changed the sparkle in your eyes. It's gone. Well, that's all I can sing is love songs. I mean, I wish I could sing rock and roll and rap and uh, all the music that's happening <laughs> you today. You don't want to sing rap. <laughs> well, George can sing rap. In fact, if this album is no. a hit, because George has been singing rap before the rappers. No. No. Sing all those songs. that you ever hear George Let sing one of his songs? Rap. We came up on the stage tonight. We had an argument that almost caused the fight. My partner said the dancing was the public choice. Well, I said that the public put before the singing boys. I said, I'm sister wrong. I said, I'm sister right. I sing for you a song. Well, that's for you tonight. I did that a thousand years ago. He did. He invented <laughs> I rap. like that rap. I now, like he, this No, he really of did. He, he was singing like that when people don't, couldn't understand no. why he was uh, uh, talking like that. Isn't that cute? That cute? Did you ever record a rap song like that? Who knows? You know, he, he, did, he did so a country many. album, though. He, yeah. was, he had a country hit. Yeah, yeah I, recorded I wish I was 18 uh, again. 18 again, yeah. his country. Oh, oh we love country music. In yeah. fact, Blue Velvet, I recorded in right. Nashville. I was one of the first uh, pop artists to come to Nashville and to use all country musicians to do uh, pop type of songs, songs like Blue Velvet that, that have a lot of fancy chords in it. So I have been coming to Nashville now for over 25 years and have a lot of friends here and made albums and albums down here. And uh, maybe George and I will, will come down and just do a, a country album, a, you know, a real country classic uh, album. We'll do a lot of stuff together. Yeah, I can see you both in well, boots we're, and cowboy we're, hats. We're just we're beginning. Just, we're a dancing finish. <laughs> well, uh, I got a great exit for us. Well, we'll both kick the back, the, 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 the back of our heads. <laughs> if Jimmy Stewart can stutter, I can too. <laughs> <laughs> I want to ask you the same question I asked George about being a sex symbol of sorts. For so many years, you know, you were just marauded by women. What does it feel like? Is, is that oh, it's a, a positive feeling. thing no, or is that a strain? It's a wonderful feeling to be loved by anyone at any time. And uh, the ladies seem to love singers. They do. There's something, if there's something special about your voice, there's something special about you. And um, there, there is a definite attraction to anyone. I can hear someone's voice and, and be attracted to it and you feel like you know them. And when you know someone, you want to love them. And because of radio play and people just knowing George or myself through all these years, it's someone that I know George and I, we, we walked out through the hall, hey, George, Bobby, how are you? It's like, we don't know who they are, but yeah, they know yeah. us. And, and because of that uh, awareness and liking someone, it, it's, it's an appeal. And you can call it sex appeal, you can call it any kind of appeal, but it's wonderful when, when you are acknowledged. George loves it. When you, do, you, I, do you enjoy I, it? I, I never worried about girls. I came from a family of seven sisters. Wow. Seven sisters and five wow. brothers, so I always had girls. My sister Goldie. Seven sisters and five brothers. My seven goodness. sisters and we were 12 in the family and no food. Wow. Very poor. We ate one of my sisters. <laughs> <laughs> so Only coming from you could that be funny. <laughs> we had to use ketchup though. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me the story. Um, that you were telling me a little bit earlier about. I want to know how you both got your starts. You were telling me about your very first job at seven years old. I sang with the Pee Wee Quartet with three other kids. And uh, we sang on ferry boats and on street corners and we passed around the hat. And sometimes they put something in our hats, sometimes they took, some, uh, took something out of our hats, sometimes they took our hats. We lost a lot of hats, but that's when I started the show business and fell in love with it then and I love it just as much now as I did then. That's when I was seven. So if you're 96 now? 96. You've been in show business for what, 81 years? Is it 81? 81, 81 years. years. 81 years. That's it, incredible. And I started to sing when I was seven years old. My really? father had a band, and it was in the Canisburg, Pennsylvania. more than 81, isn't it? 96. Seven. Well, let's, let's figure this out. Well, let's let's see. figure it out. He's 96, and he's been yeah. it's 89. It's 89. 89. Oh, of 89. course, 89. 89. 89. Yeah. I'm a mathematician. <laughs> See how sharp he is, 96 <laughs> years old. <laughs> you and I right. went of right course, by. You and I said 81. <laughs> yeah, 81, let's go. Hey, I'm not hey, wait a minute. years ago. <laughs> wow. We have calculators now. See, it's, it's 89 years. years. Yeah. One when more I, year, it'll be 90 years. When I was uh, 81, I think I was doing the skating act. Wow. Ronald would never sing his dances. Skating. Skaters. Were you yeah. at 81? To dance on skates. I right. missed that one. I want to get some video on that. Yeah. Now, you know, this <laughs> album, without a doubt, will, I think will be the only album ever in history where a man 96 years old sings great sensitive love ballads. 
Uh, I mean, yeah. I, I really think this I think is a collector's one, one item. The Pro books. Probably, yeah. uh, George, this, this is an album I think would be good for Father's Day. I think anyone looking to, to buy someone special uh, for their father, someone who has everything, yeah. they, they should get this album with you singing these great songs as, as a father singing it too. Okay, don't forget that. <laughs> you started to tell me that you started I was seven years seven old too, years and, old. and my father had a band in the Pennsylvania area. And um, at seven years of age, they took me to where his band was playing. They made me sing, Come to me, my melancholy baby. On your fields. And uh, people started to applaud and throw pennies at me. And I said, wow, mm -hmm. what a You business. remember Benny Fields? No, With no. With Blossom Silly? That's who sang that? Sure. Cuddle up and he don't sang. feel blue. Great song. Smile, my oh. honey dear. When I kiss away each tear. Or else you will be melancholy too. too. Sure. And Benny, from Sound Like George Benny, at the Benny age Benny of... Benny Fields with, with Blossom Silly. You know, Blossom Silly is there. It was a great singer, but she... And never allowed herself to get old. She kept singing songs that were too young for her. Oh. She was on the Ed Sullivan show and she sang Toddling the Toad Row. And she was there about 82 years old. You can't toddle. <laughs> that would be over 20. No, a lot of younger singers, say your son, for instance, would look up to you for advice. But if there's anyone that you're going to look to for advice, it would be someone it would be, like George. It would George. be someone like George, really. I really respect success. You see, you must re respect success. And why these people have, su have success, why has George been around so long? He, he, he possesses some kind of magic. And that magic uh, I would like to know about, learn about. And as you know, I've made movies with John Wayne, people like that. And it, it rubs off on you. It really does. You can learn a lot by being around these magic people. What have you learned by this experience with George? Today I learned a good thing from George. You must be yourself. You, you, uh, he, he's, he told me today that he never sang a song that was younger than he was. Mm -hmm. You have to be who you are. And, and I, I, if you are, you'll stay around a long time. You see, for me to come out with an album right now and try to be a rapper or try to be a rocker and start singing about my first date, I don't think anybody's going to believe that. <laughs> uh, you, he, he taught me to be honest. But this is something that I learned from John Wayne. I learned it from my own father. Be who you are, no more or no less, and you will be loved. And people will want to see you and enjoy you for many years. Do you think that that's part of the reason that you have been so popular? I for have all these no reason. The only reason that I have, I don't care what you do for a living. If you love what you do for a living, you're in the right business. You'll be around for a long time. You and know? If, and if you, do you and think people it's that love you what love they it? do for a living, yeah. they 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 go. I don't believe in dying. Mm -hmm. it's he refuses to. It's I don't obviously, obviously. That's obviously. <laughs> I'm going to look for a, a different exit. <laughs> he does have one funny line and a joke. I'm, see, I'm using all his material, which I will use in my next engagement. But he told me that when he walks out on the stage, he, he asks the audience to give him a standing ovation now because he may not make it to the end of the show. <laughs> Black <laughs> <laughs> says, If you're going to give me one, give it to me now. Isn't that cute? Wow. Are you two planning to do any live performances together? Well, we'd like to. <laughs> if this record is a hit and there's a if demand. They, if they bring back vaudeville, we'll start again. Yeah, we'll go to the Palace Theater. Who, yeah. who knows? That may be unique and different Power. today. Hammersteins. It would Before be. the Palace. You see, <laughs> th th this, this video that we have, they should play it like on MTV and all far out places because this is far yeah. out, folks. I mean, you know, to have guys with long hair playing guitars mm -hmm. and smoke and earrings and all that, 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 that's everywhere in the music business today. But you don't see anything <laughs> as far out as this. This takes a lot of, you know what, George, to do. A do. lot of what, George? Yeah, well, I'll tell you something. The most important <laughs> thing is if they ask the questions. If the questions are good, we're good. She asks bad questions. Well, good. <laughs> She's asking very good questions. Okay. Tell your boss I said to give you a raise. Okay, look straight into the camera. Give her a raise. <laughs> give her a raise. She is good. Give her more money. We love you. <clears throat> well, I'd like to make a cordial invitation for you two to come onto our show in Nashville live and perform the song live. Now, the show is on live every day, so you can't make we'll any mistakes. We'll be glad to go as soon as I get through smoking the cigar. <laughs> do you think you could do a live performance if the show isn't taped? We, you're asking if times. he can do a live performance? <laughs> he has been doing live performances for 89 years. Isn't that incredible? That's he amazing. can do anything he wants to do. In fact, I'm going to play Detroit for three days. They, they named the theater after me in Detroit. Really? Yeah. Oh, when do I great. go there? In the uh, beginning of October. In Detroit. That's great. I played there years ago, the Temple Theater.